Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Going to be doing a Tavor 7 accuracy video today. It's just going to be at 100 yards, so we'll get set up on the 100 yard range and shoot some. But before we do, I'm going to be shooting these 150 grain, these are Hornady Interlocks flat base hand loads. That's what I'm going to be shooting first. Then I have an assortment of ammo, some Hornady match ammo here. That's 178 grain. We've got some 150 grain Hornady whitetail stuff, more of a hunting load. Thanks to my good old buddy Luke, we've got some gold medal match here, 168 grain. And some federal, more of a hunting load here. This is 150 grain power shock. So we'll have five different groups to shoot here. All pretty good ammo, two match grade, two hunting loads, and then a hand load. We'll see how she does. Uh, We'll go ahead and get set up and you'll see me on the 100 yard range here shortly. All right guys, so first five rounds here are going to be the hand loads. Then immediately under that, I have five rounds of the Federal Power Shock 150 grains. Both of these rounds are 150 grain. So we'll go ahead and get charged up. I'm going to be shooting at the top left dot on the target. I pulled that first shot the rest felt pretty decent all right we'll move over to the top middle target for these five Apparently I went one too many on the left target, so four shot group in the middle, six shot group <laughs> on the left. That didn't look too great though, honestly. That was spreading out pretty good. So let's load up five of the, this is the Hornady Whitetail Interlock. I won't mix any more, I'll just shoot five at a time. Far right, upper target. If I could learn to count, I could do these videos a little better. That don't look too terrible. All right, match ammo time. This is gonna be five of the Hornady match. We'll save that gold medal match for last since it's a 
pretty well known accurate round that way you guys got to stick around for a little longer to watch it all right lower left Where I'm sitting, that don't look bad. Now, the big bad boys. Gold medal match, federal. That was a pretty decent looking group from what I can see. It might not be, y'all can see it better than I can. This uh, Vortex Strike Eagle one to eight doesn't have the best eye relief on eight power. All right, gold medal match, bottom right dot. Go take a closer look. Today's video is brought to you by Vetter Holsters. I'd like to thank them for helping the channel out. Here's one of the products they sent over for me. This one fits my 365 XL with the red dot on it. You see it's cut for that. Also has the claw feature on it. Keeps that butt tucked in closer to your body. Another example is this holster for the HK VP9. This is their outside the waistband model. Just look at that cool pattern on that excellent retention great products so if you want to go help them out which they help me out so it works out both ways i'll put a link to their website below go check out vetter holsters all right guys here's what we got this was the hand loads two pulled shots here that was me there's no doubt about it that was me pretty happy with that uh that was of course the hunting loads both of these you saw them take place look at that gold medal match we'll get a tape measure or some uh we'll get we'll, we'll measure them here in just a minute but what i'm going to do i wanted to give you a little better view close up of this target here that was the hornady match down here not quite as good as the federal gold medal match which kind of expected that in 308 but what we're going to do before we measure these i'm going to let old Luke lay down here, shoot some groups, and just get a different shooter's perspective. Maybe he he shoots he probably he shoots way better than I do anyways. So we'll see how he does, and then we'll measure both targets once he shoots some groups with different ammo. This will be some of Derek's hand loads. This is five of the federal hunting rounds.
a group. I didn't shoot those too good, but I'm getting a little more used to the gun. I'm having a hard time working the rear bag with the So this is five of the the Hornady Whitetail hunting around. Now we're going to move into the Hornady match. Feel like pretty good shots on that one? Uh, a little better. They come in high. I had one I pulled. I'm like you, the eye relief's a little wonky. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting used to it a little bit, but I'm getting more used to it as the more I shoot. That barrel's probably getting warm too. Yeah, I'd say it is. That grew pretty good. Oh. Now let's try this federal. Go metal match. This here will show you if you suck or not. <laughs> Which after the Hornady grouping, I don't feel too bad now. I'm glad I shot the Hornady good. I'm cross-eyed dominant, so. I struggle a little bit on scopes. Okay. Well, other than the one I pulled, it not horrible. Ready to take a look? Yeah. All right, guys, got these measured out. Used the old reloading calipers here, and I measured center of hole to center of hole. I threw these two shots out here. You can stick them in there if you want to, but I know those were me, there's no doubt about it. 1.3 inches for the hand loads, which is good for a hunting load that's loaded close to max charges with Varget. Uh, didn't really worry about accuracy when I was reloading them, I was just wanting bullet performance. So 1.3, 3.5 here, that's not that great. That's a four shot group because one of these was, uh, was supposed to have been there. And 2.4 inches on that five shot group, 3.2 with the Hornady match, which is worse than I actually thought it was gonna be. Uh, it's vertical stringing though, so it's most likely me. And 1.2 inches with that federal gold medal match, that's pretty daggone good for 16 inch battle rifle. And then old Lukey here, he was getting used to the rifle on the first couple groups, so we didn't really measure that. But down here on the Hornady, we have a 2.9 inch group with the Hornady match and a 2.2 inch group with the Federal Gold Medal match. And for somebody not used to the rifle, doesn't do a whole lot of prone shooting for groups, that's not bad for a, for a battle rifle, guys. All right, so there's your accuracy video for the Tavor 7. In my opinion for what this is that's not bad groups some of the hunting loads it didn't really like but one of them that it did and it seemed like the match grade ammo did fairly decent so i'm probably going to stick with that hand load for my hunting load if i use it to hunt, use this to hunt with but that's what we got for you guys let me know what you all think down in the comments and if you like the video don't forget to hit like and subscribe till next time guys stay tuned